Y'all know what it is. Borco in the building. Let's get right into this news. Talking about, talking about, y'all know what it is. Mr. 43, Louis with low-key sneakers on crack. Yankee turn back. Holla at ya, boy. Y'all know what it is. Another week, you know what I'm saying? Grab a seat because you know what I'm saying? It's been a hell of a lot this happened this week. Man, 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 man. First of all, we might just have to call this episode acting a fool because that's what these police is out here doing. But we're going to get to that in a minute. First off, we're going to start. Biden has ex- is staying with the, the August 31st deadline of taking all the troops out. You know what I mean? Just, that's the deadline. He accepts the recommendation from the House, from the Pentagon officials, that more time is not necessary. Now, I dig it. I understand it. I, pre- You know what I'm saying? I, I, I pretty much get what they saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need no more people dying over there. It's going crazy over there. That's their war, not ours. I don't know. I, I got mixed feelings about it, you know what I'm saying? Because we're supposed to protect all people. So, you know, if we can do it, we can. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So Biden's sticking with the August 31st deadline. All our troops will be out of Afghanistan. You know what I'm talking about uh, R.I.P. to Charlie Watts of the Rolling Stones. You know what I'm saying? Moment of silence. The drummer was 80 years old. You know what I'm saying? One of the greatest, if not the greatest. I mean, part of the Rolling Stones. They got a replacement for my man already on tour, but it's not the point. R.I.P. to my dude. You know what I'm saying? Loved your music. Appreciate everything you brought to the table. It it sucks losing people. You know what I'm saying? This year has been a hell of a loss. We lost a lot of people this year. You know what I'm talking about? about Shit crazy. Uh, What else I got for you? Black Army veteran fatally shot by New Jersey police outside his house. Now, I guess he was acting whatever he was acting. I don't know the story before the police got there. All I know is the man's wife called the police and said that he was leaving with a gun. Now, before this man pulled out of his driveway, the police showed up. Now, I'm guessing he was reaching for something in the back seat. I don't know if the gun was there or what have you, but he was reaching for something in the back seat. And when he came back up and got the car, they, they killed him right on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't even get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't. They ain't wasting no he- they know no hesitation killing nobody these days. You know what I'm saying? The police. That's why I said we're gonna call this episode "Acting a Fool" by the police because these niggas out here tripping. Uh, um, another person is tripping is a woman pulled a gun on a KFC drive-thru staff after they took too long with her order. Now, is it that serious? I'm just, is it that serious for some KFC, mama? You know what I'm saying? You ain't even, How long you sitting in the line? Like 10 minutes? What the fuck? This was in Memphis. Uh, Deanna Harris, 28 has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault. She was alleged to have thrown a drink at the employee before pulling a gun and pointed at several workers and bystanders. Now, apparently, she got a drink thrown at her first, and maybe that's why she pulled her gun. But that's stupid. You pulled your gun first. So, I mean, you threw a drink first. They threw a drink back after you. Now you pulled a gun. Come on, shorty. It ain't that serious. Same shit happened down in Texas. These two people... I guess, what was it, Uh, two people arrested for pulling a gun on McDonald's manager over salt on their fries. And I don't know if they didn't get salt. I don't know if they did get salt. But the fact that there was salt involved in French fries was a reason to pull a gun. I'm just saying that this is what we pull guns for these days. Y'all niggas tripping. Uh, What else I got? Florida man rams his car into the police yelling shoot me already now you're trying to get death by suicide by the police i mean what is it called death by is it called death by suicide by the police like i don't even know what it's called but you stupid as fuck like i know if you having a bad day you having a bad day but my nigga what the 
fuck is going on with you people out here? Like, why is everybody ready to die? Everybody ready to go. Everybody big, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready to go already. Uh, 57-year-old Joseph O'Connor crashed his car into the cops trying to get the police to shoot him. Now, he hit some cars before, running through some yards and all this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Causing havoc in the city. And then all of a sudden, you hit a cop car and you're like, BOW! Now shoot me already. I don't know what the fuck going on in life. I ain't trying to die no time soon. Especially by not by the police. So, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Nigga, you got problems. Maybe you need to be in the psych ward. Something like that. Uh, California. California police officer aims for suspect and ends up killing an innocent bystander. Now, Saturday night around 940, cops intended target was a suspect with an outstanding felony warrant. So I guess the cop seen my man or whatever he was going through had and then he shot at dude and they end up missing him. And hitting this 59-year-old Juan Luis Oliveira Presidio. Love your name. But rest in peace, my man. You got hit by accident by the motherfucking police. Acting a fool. But it's justifiable because they was doing their job. Somehow, I bet they get off that. You know what I'm saying? This is by accident. I killed a man by accident, so I should get off, right? No, it's not going to happen if you're a civilian. You know what I'm saying? But you police... Kill a motherfucker by accident is justifiable because they was protecting a servant, trying to kill an actual suspect, and in the process, end up killing you. I don't understand it. I don't I don't know what's going down in the world today. I'm just bringing you the news today, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two boys forced to steer the SUV off the freeway after father was fatally shot while driving. These two boys, eight and six, was in a white, uh, what is it, a Toyota Tacoma? Was it a Toyota Sequoia? My bad. Don't know what was going on. They thought it was a rock that hit the glass. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pops is driving. I don't know if they were asleep or whatever, but they thought a rock hit the glass. Pops slumped over, blood coming out, and the eight year old and the six year old somehow maneuvered the car over onto his shoulder. I think they stopped at the Chili's or something. You know what I'm saying? And, and called somebody or told somebody what was going on. I don't know if it was road rage. Don't know what the fuck was going on. But I hope them kids be all right. Because they just seen their father die, get shot. That is a crazy situation, B. Like, just think you driving. Matter of fact, what if it didn't even have nothing to do with you? What if somebody else was having road rage? You know what I'm saying? And they start shooting out their window and you end up fucking getting hit. I'm pretty sure that shit happens a lot. But these people out here tripping, B. Y'all tripping. Like, that man ain't had no reason to die. Even if it's road rage, ain't no reason to shoot nobody. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't shoot nobody. I like to be free. Okay, you smoke no weed in jail, big baby? Mm. Um, Officer punches a man after harassing his wife. This shit tripped me the fuck out. So, this officer is in this karaoke bar. Sees this woman, likes her, want to holler at her. He starts making, making advances. He puts his hand on her waist while she's singing karaoke with her sisters and all that. And she's like, no, I'm married. I'm not interested. And the man pursues. So then the woman's like, you know what? I'm going to go outside and just tell my husband. Goes outside, tells her husband, chopping up with him. Of course, the husband going to do what it do. Come inside. Like, man, why is you trying to holler at my wife? You know what I'm saying? She tried to tell you she was married. This nigga flashed a badge and said, I'm a police officer. What you going to do about it? And then hit this man. Bah! Is that fair? Because he's a police officer? What was his name? Uh, I don't forgot the motherfucker's name. What was his motherfucking name? Uh, 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 uh. He had a crazy ass name, too. He had a crazy ass name. Uh, I don't even know the motherfucking name no more. Nasi. Not I don't, Nasi. I don't even understand what the nigga name was. Nasi Tukugulu. Nasi Tukugulu. That was the cop name. Nasi Tukugulu. That's what we going by. Cause I don't know how to pronounce that nigga name. I don't even give a fuck. But you a bitch ass motherfucker for pulling my badge out and saying what you gonna fucking do about it. Now that's a bitch ass move. You know what I'm saying? I tell you we gonna call this episode. Say it with me now. Act the fool.
bodies police officers. So, what else do I got for you? Uh, hesitant people, the vaccine for Pfizer is now FDA approved. So if you ain't got your vaccination, go get it. It might save your life. I got mine. I was talking shit before, but I've been fine ever since. I don't know if the Johnson & Johnson, they're talking about a second shot coming out. I don't know if it's a booster or whatnot. I might have to go get it because that's what I got. The one shot, the Johnson & Johnson. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so if you ain't vaccinated, just go get it. I ain't seeing too many people still dying. And it's FDA approved now. You know what I'm saying? So go get the vaccination. You need it. If you're 12 and over, ask your parents. If parents, if you got 12 year old or and over, get them vaccinated right now. If it's FDA approved, apparently it might help your motherfucking ass. So go get the damn vaccination. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, ex Florida sheriff, another cop, acting a fool. Just got 12 years. For planting evidence, for planting drugs on people and fabricating charges once he arrested them. Now, 120 cases after Zachary West, 28, routinely, there's 120 cases. So, Zachary West, 28, routinely stopped people for no seatbelt or broken tail light and then put drugs on them, arrested them, put in false accusations. You know what I'm talking about? False accusations. You know what I'm saying? They go to jail and get charged for shit that didn't even happen. Now, 120 cases have been dropped, and this man is now going to jail for 12 years. So shout out to the judicial system for arresting this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Using your powers for bad and not good. You dig me? Uh, what else I got for you? Uh, ooh, y'all going to hate this. Only fans will no longer be doing porno, baby. No, that, you heard me. So if you don't subscribe, you don't pay your hard-earned money just to see some girls' boobs when porn is free, dumbass. Then go right ahead and 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 be mad that OnlyFans is no longer doing porn on their site starting September first. Now would no longer be porn on OnlyFans. So to all you motherfuckers that is too lazy to get a job out there just wanting to show your motherfucking body, no, I'm talking about talking about now it's time for you to go get a job or find another dot com because they ain't doing it no motherfucking more. Go put your pussy and titties on something else. You know what I mean. Motherfuckers just not working. Like, oh, I could just sit here and go, ooh. And I got a thousand people paying me $35 just to see my titties. Man, porn is free. Titties a titty. Ass is a ass. Pussy is a pussy. Whatever you into is whatever you into. But it's all the same from that one to this one to that one to that one. It's just a different color. Who gives a fuck? I ain't paying for no goddamn sex. I'm a pimp. I'm pay for pussy. Time out. Stupid. That's like I ain't like I said. I'm not knocking strippers, but I'm not paying you ten dollars to sit on my lap for three minutes. The fuck do I look like? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Come on, man. Anyhow, OnlyFans, out of here. <coughs> you got to find you another gig, big baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on a on a sadder note, twenty one people have passed away in this Tennessee flood. That shit is sad. There's more than 20 people missing, including two twin babies that were wi washed away from their parents as the parents was trying to escape the flood. Now, that shit almost had me in tears when I heard that story. I ain't gonna lie to you, my people. I ain't gonna lie to you. Almost had me in tears. The two twin babies got washed away. You know what I'm saying? That's nature. There's nothing you can even do about it. You know what I mean? But that shit hurt me to my soul. The two kids lost their lives in some water. I don't get it. I don't, I mean, the wrong people being punished in the world. Them babies was innocent. There's no reason for them babies had to die. It could have been a miracle that happened. Come on, guy. I'm just saying. That's sad. But Tennessee having the worst severe floods ever. Uh, shout out to them people. I hope y'all pull through this. I hope everybody make it out safe. Fuck the material shit. You still got your life. Hope you still got your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? You can get all that material stuff back. You dig? Uh, Cardi B and Lizzo. Debut at number four on their new joint. I haven't heard it yet, but I heard Cardi B's verse. You know what I'm saying? But 
Lizzo doing her thing. Uh, Facebook has blocked any bad messages that go against Lizzo because she they've been fat shaming her and that shit is not cool. Shorty is what she is, you know what I'm saying? We all got problems, you know what I'm saying? I got problems with my grill, you know what I'm saying? I got to get fixed, you know what I'm saying? I don't usually put that out there, but fuck it, it happens, you know what I'm saying? So be real, be real to yourself, you know what I'm saying? So she got a little bit extra weight on it. Mama still, you know what I'm saying, look good. Everybody got your flaws. It's just it's not on Front Street. So if your flaw was on Front Street, how would you like it if everybody in America or everybody in the world was able to comment on your Facebook page about how they feel about how you look, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? So stop bullying niggas. Y'all bully niggas on the internet because in person you a bitch. That's just my personal opinion. Shout out to Lizzo. Uh, the baby back performing. The baby is on. Uh, he just did Summer Jam, and he's back to and he doing the. Um, Little Boosie show that they got coming up, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to the baby back on the stage. You did say some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you all for allowing me to perform and, you know, allowing me to be me and blase, blase. I'm pretty sure you could see it here, you know what I'm saying? Read that shit. But he back performing, back to getting that bag. So shout out to the baby for, you know what I'm saying? Being yourself, my nigga. Whatever you went through, you, you know, the, when you go through adversity, that's when the true you comes out. So if that man's still standing and he's still doing his thing, can't stop him. But he wasn't talking to everybody, no disrespect to, you know, nobody. But he wasn't talking to everybody and y'all shouldn't try to cancel a nigga like that. He got family and kids. He just said what he said. He has a right to his own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, uh, Tim Tebow has been cut by the Jaguars already as their tight end. After an eight-year return, like, I don't know why you took eight or eight years off and thought you could just come back and hop on the team and it was going to be great and it was going to be, woo, everybody, Tim Tebow, we got him as a tight end, yay. Should have started as a tight end instead of a quarterback, nigga. How many people tell you that shit? Dumbass, nigga. Now you cut. Uh, Kanye West and B and Drake's beef is heating up. So Kanye responds to that verse that uh, Drake had on Trippy Red new song. When he said these 44, 44, 45-year-old washed-up niggas I'm still beefing with when Pusha T and Kanye both are 44. So I guess Kanye responded back. Then Kanye did some other shit where he screenshotted Drake's address and put it on the internet. And then quickly deleted it. But, you know, motherfuckers, as soon as they see it, they screenshotted it. So it was all over the internet. Yeah, I guess Con somebody said Kanye did it so all his goons could go see Drake. Now, I don't think Kanye moves like that, but it's possible. But they put Drake's address out there, and Drake just sat in his convertible as he was driving and laughed his ass the fuck off. Didn't say a word, just ha 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 ha
please stop the violence. You know what I'm saying? I know the police tripping, but please stop the violence. Let's not give them a reason to trip. You know what I'm saying? Let's just comply with whatever the fuck is going on. Get them the fuck out of my face and move on. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't fight with the police. Just do what you got to do out there, man. Y'all stay safe. Take care of each other. Y'all know what it is. Mr. 43, Louis Lowkey, sneakers on crack. Holla at your boy. We out of here. Make sure you tune in, tune in to Humble Sundays next week, and we're going to do what it do, baby. Y'all know what it is. Ball code in the building. Peace. Be easy. Oh, 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 oh,